Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out a lot, so hit that subscribe button. Today we're going to be making some mini rose resin pyramids, so let's jump in and get started. I have about 5 ounces of clear resin here, and I mixed in some Bubblicious Chameleon Mica Flakes from Island Micas and More. And I'm going to fill these up, I would say almost to the rim. I left a little bit of space um, because tomorrow we're going to go in and fill these up the rest of the way with some glitter. So um, just fill them, you know, a little, almost to the top, but leave a little bit of space in there because um, we're going to put some roses in here and it's going to look like they're just kind of floating on that layer of glitter. So when you do pyramids, you want to make sure you take a little toothpick and very carefully get the bubble out of the tip. Almost always when I pour these, a little bubble ends up in the tip of the pyramid. So take a little toothpick and very carefully get that out, or you could use a silicone um, tool, like a silicone paintbrush or a silicone mixing tool. And I got these little pyramid molds off of L Beads website. They have really great prices. I'll link them down below in the description box if you guys wanna go check them out. Just double check the size. Um, before you place an order, every, everything is in centimeters, so you just want to make sure um, that you're getting the size that you want. And this is how I'm going to submerge my little rosebuds. I'm taking two pieces of tape, just kind of overlapping that on the stem, and I'm going to place it in the resin. And then to get it to stay, I'm going to take a little clothespin and go like this. And I'm also going to take some more tape and just kind of tape it around and attach it to the mold so the clothespin stays in place. This is kind of like a wild way to do it. An easier way would be to take some uh, floral wire and just kind of wrap that around the stem of your rose or your flower and then wrap that around a toothpick and kind of just place it across the top of the mold. But I didn't have any floral wire, so I just had to get creative and use what I had on hand. Sometimes, you know, you just gotta find some stuff that you have and make it work. And this definitely worked. I did have to take a few more pieces of tape and just make sure that that rose didn't move around. But here's, here's how they're looking the next day. They are perfectly set in there. I'm going to be using some Angel Wings glitter from Laura's Art Corner. Mix that up in some resin and we're going to fill up the molds the rest of the way. This glitter is so pretty. It's got a really, really pretty sparkle and some holographic cuts in there. I'll link it down below from Laura's Art Corner along with my coupon code. So I'm just going in and filling those molds up the rest of the way. These are so much fun. Um, you could use these for like a little ring holder. They would be really pretty just kind of sitting on a shelf and you could put a ring on there. A ring fits really nicely on the tips of these pyramids. And I'm just taking a toothpick and going around the perimeter of the little pyramid here, making sure if I have any bubbles that those are going to get dislodged. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to cover them up with upside down storage container, let them dry for 24 hours and then we'll be ready to demold them. So here we are 24 hours later. Um, these can be tricky to get out of the molds, so I'll show you a little trick here in just a second. This one turned out really pretty. I That rosebud kind of got buried in there. I didn't push it down far enough um, into the resin. So I think the best way to do this would be to get some floral wire and kind of wrap it around the stem of your rose or whatever kind of flower you want to use and then attach that to a skewer or a toothpick and then you can really get it to stay where you want it inside that resin. So here's a little bit of isopropyl alcohol. I saw this tip on Wanda's Creations channel. If you're having a hard time getting anything out of the mold, just pull your mold to the side, spray some isopropyl alcohol in there, and it pops right out like a charm. This one turned out perfect. The rose is sitting just where I wanted, wanted it to sit, the little rosebud. These are just so cute. I love the little mini pyramids. And this one here um, actually is more like a blooming flower almost. It turned out really pretty as well. I love the red color. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Those chameleon mica flakes look really pretty in there too. 
Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, leave me a like, hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and go check out a few more of my other videos. That would really help me out a lot. I hope you're doing fantastic, and I will see you all soon for another video. Bye, guys.